Welcome back. Recent government figures have revealed that more than 7,000 Brits are on sickness benefit as they are declared too fat to work and cost the taxpayer more than 28 million in benefit payments last year alone. Well, with us now is mum of one, Jay Cole, who weighs 22 stone. She's fit to work and claims she's desperate for a job. But employers won't hire her because, she says, she's overweight. Uh, she says company bosses, bosses are fattest and argues that she shouldn't have to lose weight to get a job. Then there's businesswoman Casey Hopkins who admits as an employer she would never hire someone overweight because they are lazy and lack ambition. So there could be fireworks here. <laughs> and welcome to both of you. Uh, Jay, let's start you. off with you first of all. Now, you have had a job, haven't you? Yeah, I've had, yeah. I've you had, had a job. job which you did, for, it was a six hours a week job and you did that for a year. Yeah. So you have been employed. I have. Were you the same size then? Um, yeah, I was the same size same then. Same size then. Yep. So you were employable at that stage. Yeah. Why did that job come to an end? Um, because I had a dispute we, about like timekeeping. They tried to say that I was late and I, well, I, to me I wasn't late. And right. It just seemed like they wanted to push me out because I was there when the other dinner ladies were there and they never said anything to them or they never got pulled in. And yeah. I did. And like one instant, instant out there, I, my little girl was poorly mm. and I phoned up and said I can't come into work today because my little girl's poorly I've got no one to look after her. I went back and they accused me of being in KFC which I wasn't they apparently someone saw me in KFC so what what sort of jobs have you gone for after you after if, that I've gone for everything I've done cleaning retail nursery nurse teaching assistants I've tried everything so you say that you have gone for job interviews yeah. And you can see it in their eyes. Yeah, you're not it's get like the job. you walk into a room and you just see their expressions. They don't expect to see what they see on the paper. You walking into a room, you can see they're just like, oh, you just see like it. you're disappointed. Yeah, you can see it automatically. Because you are, I mean, you're qualified, aren't you? Yeah, you've got qualifications. I've got qualifications. I've got all my GCSEs. I've got a level two diploma. I stayed at, not at school till I was nineteen. And at the moment, at, why? I mean, you you are on benefits at the moment. Yeah. You look after your child. I'm but doing, while you're um, doing that, you do an open university course. course to you're be a do, teacher. You want to work. Yeah, this I isn't want to work. This isn't like I don't want to be on benefits. Mm. I've been on benefits since I was eighteen, and it's not something I want to be on. It's not something that I would tell. Be proud of. This is this is uh, we we have to ask questions for everybody yep. here. So this is uh, you know be very careful what you say because people do get terribly upset when, mm -hmm. when you ask questions like this. But I'm about to say, if you go to all that work to take you get your qualifications, yep. you want to go to the job interviews. What prevents you from thinking? Do you know what? Obviously, being this size is affecting my chance of getting mm -hmm. a job. I'll lose weight. But why should I have to change who I am? It's, you shouldn't it, to, to have a job. It is about qualifications. That's why you do that. You don't go for a job interview because you look a certain way. If you looked a certain way, n there would be so many. It, the world would be boring. Everyone is who they are. So and you're meant to look. What do you think they're thinking? Like, what do you think an employer is well, thinking? Why do you think that they don't? They think fat people are lazy. They're not capable. They're in act. They're unactive, and they can't do what a normal sized person. Yeah. Well, what is a normal sized person meant to be? Can do. So, Katie, let's come to you because that's pretty much what, that's you there. She's just described what you say. Yes, I think that's fair. I think, um, you know, if you look at somebody that is your size, yeah. I think the, your immediate reaction, and it is those perceptions, those first reactions that mm. do matter, no matter what we say, you, the reaction you get is, would I want to put someone in front of a client that looks like this? Would I want them to think, you know, are they, do they look dynamic? Do they look disciplined? Do they look highly efficient? Well, n no, you know, speaking frankly, and therefore Jay wouldn't be someone that I would employ. And we have to recognise there's lots of other people queuing up behind her for that yeah, job, so I have a lot of other choices. Why would say no to me because of the way I look, my size? Because I come across to me, I think I come across well-spoken, well-mannered, I have the qualifications on the paper and just because I walk in and I'm ten size dressed bigger than, say, you, and you think, no, she's not having the job because that is why I am here today because that is, is proven there is such thing as fat is because, because I would look at you and I would think, well, I can choose from 20, 30, 200 yeah, other but then people, that's like if you but also I would look business. at you and I would think as a small business as we are, you know, there is potential for there to be sickness related issues yeah, that, to do with I, being I didn't have overweight. a day of sick due to myself no, but, but that is a fact. We lost 16.8 billion last year for sickness yeah, that's and that like, was worrying me as an employer. If you worked for me and come into my employment, I'd be like, I don't want to hire you because I don't like the look of you. You'd probably then try and sue me 
or some or along but their I lines. Would say, I would say to you, I'd say, you know this is an issue, you know people have this opinion, which you admit. Yeah, I, do, I know And so this. why don't you think, well, you know what, if I am going to compete, if I am going to get myself off benefits, yeah. which I really want mm. to, but why you wouldn't don't ask I someone change? of a different colour to change their colour to get a job because there is such thing as fatalism and there is such thing as dis disability. So you wouldn't ask someone that's got a disability, oh, you, you've got to not be disabled well, I think maybe you can't people get that I, job. I, I just say that people would perhaps but this is your say choice. that you, if you, you have no reason to, no ability to change your colour. Yeah, um, no. But, and you have no but ability to change your disability. Thing. Yeah, but then um, some people that are overweight like me, I have prostate ovaries and I have a slow um, thyroid problem. So it is difficult for me to lose weight. So it's not something you can just do. But I, I do have been find, big if I may, yeah, but I do find that it's always someone else's problem. It's I always the job centre's problem. 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 You've applied, you well, said, no, for... Actually, she but, doesn't have a problem. But, no, it's but, everyone no, else. We're talking, yeah. we're talking about this application for jobs as if she's been hugely diligent in this. She's applied for 12 jobs in five no, years. No, I that's haven't about applied one. for jobs. That's what jobs. your article no, says. No, the article said that I, applied, I have been to 12 interviews in five years. Okay, well, that's hardly But I've applied for so many jobs. But the thing is, where there is so many people going for jobs at the moment, that I am not in the interviews. But they can't see you no, when they look when at the application. when I do go for the interviews, you can see by their face they're disappointed. Yes, and that's fair. Oh, so if you know that, that why not We're all talking at the same time here. Let's just, just hang on a second. You say that ha you have applied for a great many jobs. You're loads of jobs. Right. I'm on all the jobs. How do sites. they know what size you are when no, they you don't. apply? I'm not, saying I, I'm not saying when I apply for a job that it's um, to do with your size. Also, I know it's not just like... If you apply for a job, they can't see what you look like. So I know it's not just my size. It's hard to explain. Like, it, so you're not qualified for the jobs that you've gone no, for? No, I am qualified because I go for jobs that you have to have your GCSEs for. And I know that there is a tough... It's tough at the moment to get a job or a job interview. Mm. But it's, for example, have an example. I went for a job interview Friday. And um, someone I know went for the same interview with me, and it, you had to do a mental maths test before it. I passed the mental maths test. She never. She's a size 10, big bosoms, looks good, and she got the she got the job, and I didn't. But she actually failed the test before. So they hired the person who was less qualified. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say that's because looks still matter. You know, if yeah, somebody walks into a room, you have an immediate impression of what you think that person's able to do. Well, that's the unfair. Way, I'm just finishing. The way someone shakes your hand, that gives you an impression of the sort of person they're going to be. And it may be unfair, but it's totally within your remit. I'm just going to finish. It's totally of, within your remit to yeah. do something about it's it, and you're choosing not to. That. that could only take you so far. That yeah. might get your foot in the door, door. of somewhere, like we're like saying. But that now. won't take you through. That won't carry you no, through. No, like the girl now, you're... she's told the employees, I can't do this job, why did another you hire side, me? Isn't there? There's another side to this, because you've been unemployed for such a long period of time, yeah. that counts against you, because you were let go from your other position for timekeeping, I appreciate that was disputed, yeah, well, that well. counts against you, there are many factors counting against you and I think you really have to say, in order to get across those factors, to bridge those factors, you need to really make that change yeah, but I have and that's why experience. as an employer I have to be honest and say I would never employ the someone trouble is, yeah, The yeah, trouble is, we, like you, it though. would appear no. that, that we live in, this is the world that we live in, yeah. this is um, unfair as it appears to be, certainly in yeah, your case this is. is the way it is and the trouble is also, I was reading the other day that for one job there were 2,000 yeah. applicants. Mm. So you... I appreciate that, I understand that, but it is, you can see it. Like if you walk into a room and you, someone looks at you and just automatically writes you off, you walk into a room and you shake their hand and you say, nice to meet you, and they're like, you can see them like, oh yeah, nice to meet you. You, you, you don't expect that from someone that's employing people, they're meant to be professional. And so I'll say to you, Katie, that, that there would appear to be employers who are missing out on absolutely the right person for the job, who's mm -hmm. got the right qualifications, has the right attitude, is honest and, Philip, and wants to do it, Philip, and you're turning them her, down because they're too big. 200, 2,000, you just quoted from a job we, we recognised from last week, 2,000 other people who are equally able. Now, if I have a choice between someone who is 22 stone, yes. with respect, or someone who is equally qualified, has the same GCSE, same history, I will pick the other person because that is a differentiator. Well, that, that's what's and you got to be argue. salted. That's, no, that's, that you, should you be allowed. That, that is discrimination. That's not reality. It's not right. It's, not right. it's it, may, not, it may be reality, but that's not right. right. It's not. And it's some reality that is not always case. right, but we have to be honest about it and we need people that will tell it well, straight in order that we I can make change. And, I try and make footsteps in the right direction. Action. I would like to, I'd rather be part of that. Than yeah. I, there should be something done, there should be a discrimination against or something because there's proof here that it does exist 
Well, you are both saying the same thing, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with any, any of that, no. but I do think where we have a benefit system that allows people to continue to make their way through life without needing to make the change, I think it doesn't help. I think unless we're aggressively pursuing careers in this competitive job market, you're not going to get a job, and I'm just trying to be honest yeah, but about I am the sorts of change I am aggressive, I am applying, I am doing everything that any other person would do, and just because I weigh more than a certain person, I'm not getting the job, and that should not but be allowed. But the answer to that sits with you. No, it Let's leave not. it there. Let's leave it there. Let's see that. Let's see what uh, see what you think. Uh, get in touch with us. Stephen is waiting in the hub to yeah, field your comments. We interested. know there are going to be loads. Uh, thank you That's both. Thank you very much. Good luck. I hope you find I hope so too. Yeah.